Samsung may have just sparked a new era in mobile tech. Their Galaxy Z Trifold finally turns that long-teased concept into reality. Folded, it's a regular phone. Unfold it, and you're suddenly holding a full 10-inch tablet. Samsung has been polishing this idea for years, and now that it's real, the question hits hard. Are tablets about to lose their place? What surprised early testers first was the weight. At 309 grams, this thing is a commitment. It's even heavier than the Fold 7, the S25 Ultra, and Apple's top models. Passing 200 grams was already pushing it, but crossing 300? That's a lifestyle choice. But then you unfold it, and the shock continues. It becomes Samsung's thinnest device ever at an unreal 3.9 millimeters. Samsung went with a single refined black finish using a carbon-like fiberglass texture that feels unlike anything in their lineup. Two titanium hinges keep everything firm, but they're very particular about the order you fold it. Do it wrong and the phone literally warns you? Ignore that warning and you risk smashing the cameras into the screen. Not exactly a cheap mistake. The Trifold carries an IP48 rating. It can survive water, but dust? That's the real enemy. First-gen limitations are expected, but it's still a step down from the Fold 7's robust protection, and the inner display is noticeably softer. Press your nail too firmly and it leaves marks. Early users confirmed it. Years of refinement made the Fold 7 tough, this one isn't there yet. At least Samsung didn't compromise on raw power. Inside it's packing the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy, easily strong enough to run demanding apps even in full tablet mode. You get 16 gigs of RAM, up to one terabyte of storage, and a 5600 milliamp hour battery. Charging, 45 watts. And yes, the charger is actually included. In 2025, that alone deserves applause. Camera-wise, Samsung reused the setup close to the Fold 7. A 200 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra-wide, 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, plus two 10 megapixel selfie cameras, one for each mode. Solid, reliable, but not matching the photographic power of the S25 Ultra. It's good, just not the absolute best Samsung can do. But this device isn't trying to win the camera race. Its true power is the tablet mode. Unfold it and you're basically carrying a portable workstation. Samsung DeX transforms the phone into a desktop-style interface, letting you work with a keyboard, mouse, or even a second monitor. On a 10-inch screen and on the go, that's the dream for productivity levers. Even without DeX, Samsung optimized multitasking heavily. Three apps at once feel natural, almost like running three phones side by side. And for entertainment, massive. YouTube, Netflix, TikTok, everything feels premium on a tall, unfolded display. I've used Huawei's Mate XS, and that XXL vertical scroll experience is unbelievably addictive. Samsung aims for the same vibe. The difference is in philosophy. Huawei uses a single external fold, Samsung uses two internal folds with a protective outer display. Safer, but definitely more complex. Sadly, both brands share one frustration. Availability. Samsung is keeping the trifold in South Korea for now, with limited global expansion planned. And with a price hovering around 2,500 euros before taxes, Europe might see it hit 3,000 euros. The only curious perk, buyers in Korea get 50% off repairs for the big internal display. That's reassuring, or maybe a warning. Either way, the Trifold is a bold concept. So tell me, would you invest in something this futuristic? Personally, I think this design makes way more sense than the old squarish foldables. As soon as we get our hands on it, TechDorch will test it for real. Long live tech, and long live Trifolds.